This was rapidly followed by several HE-441B rounds. Range, 500 meters. The replay showed the rounds bursting above the enemy position. The enemy were represented by a number of plastic containers. The result? 50% were perforated. Mission accomplished. The squads are returned to base by helicopter. The 106mm recoilless rifle M40 has been given a new lease on life by the hard-capped armor-penetrating 3A Heat T round and by the Simrad LP101 gun sight, which increases the range to 1,500 meters. The sight can also be fitted with an image intensifier. To show the increased hit probability of the 106mm recoilless rifle, a target practice round was fired at a prior generation tank. One round, one hit. The next live firing proved the high effect of the 3A Heat T round against a NATO heavy triple with an ERA module. This target had exactly the same data as the previous NATO heavy triple target. Three, two, one, five. We will have a replay here. The replay showed the jet exiting the rear of the target. The Bill ATGW, the 24-hour top attack missile system with a range of 150 to 2,200 meters. The Bill defeats the armor of any MBT. It can be vehicle mounted, air transported and even parachute dropped. Here we see the Bill configured with an M113 vehicle. The night sight for 24-hour combat capability. By helicopter, the Bill squad is landed on a rise 700 meters from the guests and quickly takes up position. Squad's task, to kill two MBTs. The first MBT, at a range of only 150 meters, is an almost impossible target for most other anti-tank missile systems. The missile flight time is 1.5 seconds. Okay. 
After rapidly reloading, the operator sights on target number two, an MBT equipped with ERA modules. The range is 1,270 meters, and the missile's flight time to the target is six seconds. The results. Target number one, a hit on the thinly protected turret roof. Target number two, the shaped charge jet struck the turret above the gun and penetrated deep into the hull, despite the added protection of those ERA modules. All Bullforce anti-armor weapons have a complete range of sub-caliber and full-caliber practice rounds and simulators, making possible low-cost, effective training. For efficient defense, various types of land mines are essential. The FFV-013 area defense mine, with its preformed fragments and directional fragmentation, provides an instantaneous, devastating effect against helicopters, lightly armored vehicles, and soft targets. The 013 can be mounted on its tripod or a tree, or it can be permanently emplaced. Its effective range is 150 meters. In the target area are an array of steel plates, 150 meters from the mine, and a number of silhouettes and a minibus, 75 meters from the mine. There was also a 5 millimeter thick armor plate, behind which was a witness plate, 2 millimeters thick. Three, two, one, fire! The result, the minibus, steel plates, armor plate, witness plates, and silhouettes all showed multiple penetrations. The FFV-028 anti-tank mine, with full-width attack capability and hollow charge, was now placed under a tracked assault gun. The picture speaks for itself. It was a very impressive display of firepower. I was particularly impressed by the modular design of the equipment and the, the ability to use the same platform to launch weapons of uh, munitions of various types. And uh, with regard to the, the, time, uh, the time delay and the precise timing that was incorporated into the munitions, that was a particularly impressive feature. The whole demonstration was extremely impressive and what we've, what I, uh, from what I gather, the upgrading of the ammunition was the main factor that, you know, that can really, you can see the uh, effect of this anti-armor and also the Carl Gustav, which is a versatile and a multi-purpose weapon. It, can, it was distinctly seen and noticed that these weapons, they really mean something. On the third and final day, the guests took up position to see 
the Strix warhead demonstration. The Strix is a new 120 mm mortar-launched, terminally guided anti-armor projectile. The bonus 155 mm artillery-launched anti-tank shell with two sensor-fused submunitions to be demonstrated in a warhead shoot-off. And the CV-90 with its 40 mm ammunition. The 3P and the APF-SDS-T, as well as the AGT round. At a distance well beyond the sight of the guests, two FH-77B field howitzers were deployed. Their task, to clear the left side of the ridge of